Hey, Big Dave the Middle Age. Thanks, Arturo. Big Dave the Middle Age Gamer here with another episode of Sim Settlements. Who for Fallout 4? We are in Diamond City. Uh, oh boy. And we had just gotten a quest before the end of the last video. We gotta get some goodies for Mo Cronin. Get some baseball paraf memorabilia, not paraphernalia. Although I guess the glove would, some of it would count as paraphernalia, but no, memorabilia is the more proper term here. And we are also. Remember I said before that at a later time I'll he uh, head around back and check out those two raiders? Because there's a little story y'all going to want to hear. That's why. We're going to do that now. And while we are waiting, how y'all doing today? Just comment down below. Tell me what's going on. What's on your mind? Just let me know. How y'all doing out there, wherever you are? Hey! Gonna be your last day. By the way, these are not the raiders I was referring to. I hope that explosion didn't start the car. Free for the taking. Okay. That could have gone much worse, but it didn't. Okay. Nothing in the Nuka Cola machine. Toolbox, gotta like that. Alright, we should be coming up again uh, to these raiders. You see the last one we tried to pull in with all Here. the grenades? I was out doing my rounds. What about him? Well, Becca pulled him into the front of the store, and everything seemed fine, right? He must have got spooked or something, because he suddenly starts throwing grenades everywhere. What? What, what'd you guys do? That's the thing. It turns out they weren't grenades at all. They were just rocks. He was making the sounds with his mouth. Pins being pulled the whole nine yards. <laughs> Fucking nuts. Did you guys hang him out? No, we just stood there. We couldn't believe what we were seeing. After he threw about a half a dozen rocks near the back of the store, he started making machine gun noises and backing toward the door. Once he got outside, it sounded like he pretended to get on a motorcycle. Which, of course, didn't start right away. <laughs> then he took off toward the freeway at what sounded like full throttle, shifting gears and everything. That's insane. How does someone like that survive out here at all? I don't know. There's some lunatics out there, though. <laughs> That's one of my favorite stories in this entire game. Basically, uh, I think that's supposed to be an homage to um, Michael Winslow, the comedian, actor... Uh, most known for playing Larvel Jones in the Police Academy movies. And that was a shtick, and boy, was he really good at it. Okay, where are these fools? Someone there? there they are. Oh, well, so much for that. Nineteen percent? No. Unexpected. And Doggo took care of him for us, so we didn't have to. Nothing really useful. It's all junk. So remember to save after every successful fight. This way, you won't have to do them again. Okay, so here is the. 
here's the highway that they were referring to. A common place for many radiants and miscellaneous quests. A fair amount of junk here, too. And there's the mark for it. Perfect. A couple of quantums. Gonna love that. Okay, I know what that noise is. Okay, we're not gonna go down into the... the uh, yeah, into the turnpike itself. We don't need to. But there's plenty of lootables around here. So we're going to take full advantage of that. I actually don't need that right now. That was an accident. Bourbon, good. When you're looking for junk, ferals are always pretty good to find, because they'll usually have something random. Alright. What the hell is it? It's just a wall, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. So, moving back along. I'm going to save after all that. And now we're back heading towards the Westing Estate. And as I said, the highway is actually a pretty good track to take. We're not going to go down. We don't need to. If we look at the map here, we can actually still follow along the highway itself. We actually don't need to drop down. Because it'll drop down for us. We got a raider all the way down there. Oh! Spitter bees. Sixty-nine. Nice. Okay. We're not done yet. Giant black boom bug. Try saying that ten times fast. You little fucker. Where is he? Okay, we're getting roughed up by this damn thing. Ah, hell. And this is why you save after every fight. There is some instability with the timing of Um, the regenerations with the Fallout Who and the Pip Boy. And if your timing is wrong enough, and mine has been quite often, you can kind of soft lock yourself. So, we do this again. That's alright, it's not like we were very far along. But, it also means that we are going to need to Hey, you know what? We'll take the stairs this time. But what it also means is that we're going to be a little more liberally using of our chems if we need to.
There's a raider down there. Shot him before, but nothing ever really came of it. That's not a raider. What the? You <coughs> that is a raider. Okay, so we still need to drop down. Successful fight <laughs> equals a save. And hopefully we won't have to deal with any more giant boom bugs. Blue, we're not alone. Shit. Getting, getting whooped already. Alright. We're gonna throw up a buff jet. Bobrov's best. Potato juice. And an abomination. Okay. Grab another drink. We're going to chug a nice cold ramen milk. Die, you stupid motherfucker. Unusual candy. A gray wolf. Oh, he's pretty. I'm sorry, buddy. Oh, wow. I'm sorry, buddy. Uh Oh, razor grain. Take that. And save, 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 especially after all of that. Holy crap. Well, we survived all that. That giant boom bug was a bit of a pain, but there's something I wanted to look at real quick. Unusual candy. Which gives you plus two intelligence and plus two percent experience gain for two hours, plus a little bit of healing. We're actually gonna eat it. It's worth a lot, but it's more it's more of a use to us as experience fodder. And so here we are at the Westing Estates. Not much at the gatehouse there. So first things first, we're going to go around to the garage. You're not wrong, Piper. If you didn't hear what she said, she said we need to drain this place severely. All right, there's the catcher's mitt. Medex, Wonder Glue, Turpentine, nice. More junk. Always good. Yeah, most junk in this whole place is going to be actually here, which is pretty pathetic, actually. 
Uh oh. Fire lurks. I'm gonna use the print here. Take out the big bad razor claw. Anytime you see a, a clutch of eggs, be careful. Because hatchlings will appear. The eggs are pretty good food. And with Piper just sitting there like a lump. Okay, so we're done with the garage for now. Let's go inside the manor itself. And this is another reason to have Aqua Boy or Aqua Girl, depending on who you're playing as. It never hurts to have. To have it because... Now, I don't want to get rads to you. Hollow tape, which is junk. Some more drugs. Overdrive is nice. Jump here. Can't believe we actually made that. Just name normal uh, memorabilia, not the actual stuff we're looking for. But in here, that's a novice lock, which means anybody can pick this. Got it. There's the baseball and some random loot and ammo, which I. So now we're gonna follow really Piper you had to do that there's some soap in there soap is oil which is always useful and that should take care of the last of the Meyer lurks that instigator is just killer. Places like this are why I try to avoid drinking water. Fusion cells. Nice. Copy of the unstoppables. Hell yeah. And there's the ball card. And that's everything. But when you're hard up for steel, you grab that. The buff jet has finally worn off. The time-altering effects don't last very long, but everything else sticks around for a decent for a decent bit. Another clutch of eggs. One thing about the explosive capabilities, yeah. There's the softy. Where, where'd that razor claw go that I took out? I mean, again, Aqua Boy means you don't have to worry about rads in the water here. Where did all that razor claw go? Eh, don't suppose that's all that important. Another clutch here. And if you go through here, I'm going to show you guys a little something. Good information to know. If you go through this way, you see where that dog is? That's a campfire. You want to generally find campfires. There's another one located uh, just east of the Museum of Freedom and a bunch of other places too. But you can potentially find a bunch of uh, top-notch settler merchants in places like this. But there's always some sort of uh, random encounter. And if we bring out our big gun, you see that this is a doggo who took down a rad scorpion. If a doggo could take down a rad scorpion, do you want to mess with that doggo? I sure as hell don't. Anyway, let's head back to Diamond City. Let's turn in our quest. Get our reward from Mo, and then we will go 
back to County Crossing. And we will try to finish building up our giant building, and we will try and start connecting everything. Actually, I think we're done building upwards. It's We're now in that connecting phase. But we're going to have to do some really creative things here. If we want to actually do this. Yeah, the connecting phase is going to be uh, a little interesting, shall we say. <laughs> Especially since I don't have a jetpack power armor. Creating your own jetpack on a suit of power armor requires both a four science and a four armorer. And the only way you can get a power uh, you can get that on your own as a guarantee is through a late stage Brotherhood of Steel quest, which ain't happening either. Anyway, hey Mo. Hey, it's you. You find any of those baseball items I mentioned? Got them all right here. I like your gumption. Let me take a look. <sighs> this baseball is the real deal. You'd sign one of these and give it to the children of anyone you killed on the field. Wrong. Look at that card. See those numbers on the back? Tracks the count of enemies beaten to death by the player. Wrong. Check out the leather on that mitt. Ah, really good players use them to catch bullets. True fact there. Ah, That's everything on the that's list. That's really stretching it. Thank you. Far as I'm concerned, you're now a part of baseball collector history. Well, I mean, I guess if it's an Aroldis Chapman or Randy Johnson fastball, you could call it a bullet, but uh, otherwise that's a real stretch. All right, actually, while we're here... Send free shopping right here. Hey, Myrna. Remember, I don't serve scents. Supplies are just for humans. I'll take a look, sure. Odds and ends. There are some things we can sell, actually, now that I think about it. We did kill some raiders. All right. Really, that got me all of that much. Jeez. Okay. Okay, that's a little better. Does she have anything worth a damn? Where did we buy all that already? Okay. Okay, one pla one more place I want to go into to introduce you all to if you've never seen this game before or any of my previous series, and that's Becky Fallon. Clothier extraordinaire in Diamond City. Maybe. Ah, oh, there she is. Miss? Uh, hello. Have you been here before? Nope. First time. Thought so. Some ground rules. This isn't a charity. Clothes are for sale if you have the money. Otherwise, the door's right there. No mooching. Got it. Good. Now that we understand each other... Welcome to Fallon's. Happy to show you everything in stock. I'll take a look, sure. A paying customer. Finally. All right, looking at her goodies. Um, her inventory. Okay, we've got champion's gear. Chess piece I can't, I can't quite buy yet, but we can get the right arm, which is better than what I've got right now, which is just a regular synth right arm. We'll give that to Piper. And uh, we'll get another point of agility and perception out of this, which will be a big help. 
and we'll get a bit of a boost on our ar armor. So, hey, that's a win. All right, where'd Piper go this time? Hey, nosy reporter, where the hell'd you go? All right, let's get out of here. Maybe Piper never made it in. We'll find her. Maybe? There she is. Hey. Point the way. Oh. Bye. I guess we'll hold on to that for a future companion. Okay then. So. We will go to... Nah. We're going to County Crossing, because we got work to do there. And the Westing Estate did not take nearly as much time as I thought it would. Wow. <laughs> So while we're waiting for this to load up, I just want to throw the usual nonsense out there at y'all. Don't forget to subscribe if you like what you see. It'll make sure you get them as they come in. Won't cost you a thing. It'll help me out too. The more help I get from YouTube, from you guys. And uh, the more and better videos I can make. Thereby keeping y'all entertained that much better. It's the circle of life. Okay, enough of that bad singing. Okay, some Minutemen and a Doc Weathers. All right. That's tall. <laughs> and that's why we're here, because that's tall. All right, dumping off our junk. All right, time to go up all 11 flights of stairs plus... That's a lot of stairs. I didn't have such a small building to work with. If you remember the nub of a house that was here to begin with. Oh, wait, I am not done yet. Just got some flooring to put in. Ooh, that's it? Really? Well, just enough to get that done, huh? And we got this pole here. What we're actually going to do is we're going to turn it around. Okay, and now, for the sake of safety and for the sake of doing all this, because I hope this works, problem is, anything you've connected Oh, too far off the edge. All right, this is not going to work. Oh, well, I tried. So I'm going to bring this back up.
connector. We're going to connect that. That's not going to work very well. So what we're going to do is we're going to take out this wall here. Okay. You know what? That's not going to work either. Okay, so we're going to have to go all the way back down the stairs again. Okay, we're out of wood, so that's not going to cut it. cut it either. No. Okay, we're going to need more wood. Doc Weathers does not have wood. Bunker Hill could potentially have wood. I may end up having to go back to Sanctuary anyway. We'll see. Because what I may end up having to do is build a long staircase around the building so I could just put up the freaking copper connectors. And now that I think about it, I'm actually kind of doing this all wrong. And what should be done can be a lot more efficient. Not requires. I mean, I'm still going to need the the faux scaffolding staircases, but the cost in copper, at least for what I need to do, is not going to be quite as bad. But either way, I'm still gonna need... Ah, oh, fuck me. Alright. Back to Sanctuary. I gotta drop off that piece of armor anyway.
and we'll look to see if we can grab any wood while we're there. And after that, Anyway, so while we're waiting for this to load up, and I can't believe I got a black load screen on this, and I'm so sorry, guys. So, we're just going to have to deal with it for now, and I'll just have to apologize profusely all over myself for this. But as I said, we need to get some more wood. There should be some extra wood with Sanctuary. There should also... And I also need to drop off that piece of armor for a future companion. We have an extra right arm. Go figure. Okay. So, first things first. I don't want to put the mods up. We don't need the extra weight there. All right. Junk. We're looking at wood. We have four th 1,485. Wow. Okay. We'll just take the 485. That's just going to cost. Oh, it's just going to weigh about 90 pounds or so. We're not exactly hurting on inventory space right now. Yeah, that figures. There's Tiny and Tina, which means Carl is nearby. We'll go back to our pad. We will drop off our synth right arm. And the creatables when it comes to drugs and our extra food. Plump bug meat. Yum yum. All right. Remember right? Yeah, we have a couple extra med X's. And we'll grab an abomination. Because we did use one. Okay. That will do. So back to County Crossing again. We gotta make that scaffolding. And we also got to work our. We also got to go back up because I realize I mispositioned a few, uh, a couple of things, and that is not going to do for us. And actually, now that I think about it, we're going to need to. Yeah, tinker around a little bit. All right, so while we're waiting for this black load screen to never mind. <laughs> So we're going to go back up the stairs. 
And I was just going to have power just go ahead and run down the middle here, but yeah, one slight little problem. There's a doorway here that settlers will use. So, we're going to have to go back up all the way to the observatory and temporary power hub. I say temporary because once we have this rigged up and everything else, yeah, yeah, that's not going to work. Okay. Yeah, none of this is going to work. Okay. So first, we're going to disconnect that wire. Float off, put that conduit back in the workshop. Okay, we're going to move this. Here. That's perfect. And we're going to make another one on the other side. And that should not interfere with... And good, they're facing the right way. Okay. Hold up. I want to see something. Should not interfere with any ASAMs I, placed, I plan to place. Yeah, that should be okay. That should not get in the way of anything. All right, all the way back down the stairs. And yes, I fully admit this is becoming more of a pain in the ass than when I first envisioned, but that's okay. Sometimes the shit is worth it. All right. That's not the power I want. That's the connector I wanted. Wait, really? Huh. That's just weird. That actually works better. <clears throat> Some of the shit is not properly connected. Very bizarre. So we're going to go as high up as we can with these. And of course, connect them. And same thing here. We can't get, get as far up this way because there's more foundation showing. So what we're going to have to do now, now we're going to have to start building our scaffoldings. Which is just going to be these handy dandy wooden chick. Okay. So we want these 
extended just right so that way Yeah, it's a As we look at that, that's going to cut in just a little bit. We don't want that. This isn't going to be part of the permanent... Uh, this isn't going to be permanent. So we're just... We just want enough so that way we can just start... keep doing that. I guess we're gonna have to clip a little bit okay so if you notice we did it this way we're suddenly a lot higher than we used to be that's okay all right I'm gonna show you guys another little trick We've already blown through most of our steel here. Actually, that's fine. So what we're going to do is we're going to climb up. We're going to need more steel again, in case you all haven't noticed. can only really build one connector. Because making all these stairs to wrap around. Actually, no, nah, we're just going to keep building the stairs. That's fine. And we're going to dismantle them for now. need to get more steel again kind of maddening you know but what are you gonna do as far as i know there's really only one place left we can steal some steel and that's gonna be I know, we're kind of robbing Peter to pay Paul here, but we got to do what we got to do, guys. And I warned you that connecting this thing was going to, wiring this thing up was going to be a nightmare. But you got to do what you got to do. So while we're waiting for this to load...
Don't forget, I also do other series, uh, Skyrim, Hades, Enderal, which is a thing of Skyrim, Cult of the Lamb, Diablo. And if any of those tickle your fancy, they're there for you to watch, and if you want me to make more of them, you know, you gotta let me know. Because otherwise, I'm just looking basically on where I'm seeing the views come from, and... Oh boy, rainy. And not just the quantity of views, but the quality of the views, too. So if there is something you want to see more of, you gotta let me know. And no uncertain turn. Maybe I did rob all the steel here. Alright, back to Sanctuary. We'll see if we can... We'll see if maybe they've replenished a bit. If not, then we're going to have to end this video a little prematurely. Actually, what I might consider doing anyway... ...is bring out some ASAMs anyway. Because I think it's time they start produce, uh, County Crossing starts producing its own building materials. Alright. Looking at steel, they got three steel. Yeah. So yeah, let's let's at the very least get up a building material plot for County Crossing. We do have uh, the settlers for that. We can take one off some food, get that moving. I'll figure out a solution to make sure there's plenty of power to go around. I just might trigger, I just, what I just might do is, uh, move that generator down and have it just directly power the, the industrial plot and rig it up from there. The more I think about it, the more I think that's actually a pretty good idea. Alright, so first things first, we need to get that we need to get that generator down and do uh, one small little wire connection just to get things set up on that front at least for all the apartments that are going to be here eventually. Yeah, it's a lot of stuff that needs to be done here. It's a real headache. But, anyway, I'll tell you. It's the kind of thing that needs to be done. So, connect those. Back down. And once I actually have some more steel, well, I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna put rails around the uh, top there. We just leave that as like a really cool observatory. All right, so Will it fit in here? It will, but I think it'll take up too much space. So we will put it over here. Because that's the sort of thing that is actually really good at What 
we'll do is we will leave this here. And we just connect it there, and suddenly it's got power. Not now, Javier. Once we got things actually, once we got more options and everything, then yeah, I'm just going to start grabbing everybody. Here's open. There's enough building supp uh, supplies here. We do have enough. Good. So now we need to find one of the counties. There's one. They can start producing their own building supplies that will help. with everything else. goes. That is definitely necessary here. And what we're going to do here is I'm just going to move these over. Keep them out of the way for now. use this expanse here for a nice expansive ag plot. Ag plots don't require power, oddly enough. A large carrot field. Ooh, nice. So at least that has the bases covered here. I guess while we're at it, we'll hook up. I mean, what are our, what are, what do we have? Twenty-two altogether. We can actually leave that like this. Oh, somebody's already grabbed it. Good. So we'll go back here. We'll see which bed has been. No, according to this, both of them.
that's a lovely home. We got a multi here. Interesting. Can't afford a multi, so we're gonna switch it to single. We can afford to do that, we have the space. And that we can afford. We have another job queued up for any new would-be settler here. That would be part of the farm. And that will make them happier here. And at least this part is done. I mean, I guess I could always work the power aspect accordingly as time goes on. So, I mean, I guess technically everything is caught up here. But yeah, while you've got some sort of Children of Adam-like nightmare here, with a lot of junk and a radiation barrel with some skulls and some fusion cells, and a lot of fungus, not really healthy looking. Up above, we got something that, while still a little Spartan, is kind of nice in its own regard. So, that's cool. And if we look at the rest of the area, as I said, as I showed you, we have our building materials spot, which is handy. And we've got our carrot field with uh, one intrepid farmer there, which is perfectly fine. Everything is good to go for now. And I think we're going to leave it here. Next time, we are going to head to Vault 81. which is actually pretty close from that mass turnpike. As you can see, the uh, little lake is, direct, is due north of it. So that's where we're going to go and continue the Sim Settlement storyline. So thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe to get the latest and greatest videos as they come in and to help this channel grow. This has been Big Dave the Middle-Aged Gamer. This... Sim Settlement 2 for Fallout 4. I'll see you all next time.